Hey guys, got a uh, almost new used truck kind of fell in my lap. Tell you a little bit about it, see if it might work for you. Um, 2022 Peterbilt 389. Uh, this is a truck that we built and you know, pre-COVID just stuck on our lot for sale, sold it and it's, it's found its way back home. So let's do it again. Uh, factory Seminole paint scheme uh, two super unusual Peterbilt colors that a lot of people don't know about. 300 inch wheelbase. A lot of our normal touches. Dual 150 tanks with the def tank to the rear. We ordered it without the steps and no grab handles. Added the steps later. Um, and also did a custom deck plate on it. 30 inch Hodge built stainless steel polished quarter fenders. Low Pro 24 rubber, Bridgestones. Plenty of life left in those. Uh, disc brakes all the way around. Uh, 325 rears. 48 inch slide with a uh, Holland FW35. Sliding rear window. Four lights obviously across the back antenna mounted on the back of the sleeper just had the tanks polished um, cleaned everything up the bolted frame everything frames just as shiny as it can be uh, aluminum cross members uh, it's got the zinc coating on the frame under the paint so the paint should last in rougher environments Kind of a good shot of those colors. Heavy metallic on the gold and, and the red. It's got the uh, premium sound. So it's got the subwoofer, amplifier. Let me peek at that here in just a second. Uh, underglow lights on all the drop panels. Polish cover on the battery box, four batteries in it. Polished air tank. Of course, uh, front and rear air cleaner lights. LED turn signals. Moto mirrors. Uh, custom chops. Matched up to that custom visor with the lights in it, with the lights in the visor. No lights on the roof. Uh, gravel guards on the fenders with the lights in them everything matches it's all neat and clean twenty inch blind mount bumper with a recessed plate Peterbilt oval wheels steers have plenty of life left in them Uh, locking caps, dual fuel sending units. Under the hood is a X15 Cummins 605 2050 Torque, 18-speed. Of course, with that big Torque package, it gets a uh, bigger clutch. A little heavier driveline, heavier rear ends. Weight-wise, they're not heavier, but they'll have bigger bearings and things like that. They're just uh, more set up for that big torque. Air ride front end with dual, dual leveling valves. Uh, DAVCO 382 fuel filter. It's got the big air compressor, the 37.4, which is basically double of what a normal air compressor is. Platinum interior, full gauge package, all the switches, rosewood dash panels, um, 
the more and more I see these and sell them, the more I like them. These are the Atlas 70 series mid backs. Uh, it's just, I think they're just a little bit cleaner. I'm, I'm becoming a big fan. We'll get a mattress put in it. It just came back from detail. We always put new ones in them. Uh, set it for a PTO if you needed it. Just under 135 on the miles. Just over 3,000 hours. Windows, locks, mirrors. Um, it's got a custom horn. Factory CB. Full carpet. There's the control panel from the sleeper. Didn't, yep, it's got the uh, pull out desktop storage bins. Call that the business center is the name of that option. It's a great little package. Um, chrome shift lever. Leather steering wheel. Of course we can change that to say whatever you want. We'll gladly put the new owner's name on that. But as hard as trucks like these are to come by right now just wanted to show it to you um it's available all markets sold on social media as soon as it sells but if you got any questions my name is steve carboni 918-808-5638 call me or text me if you have questions um, typically the best way to get a hold of me so appreciate you guys and hopefully i have something to show you here soon all right bye-bye